Hey everyone, Bodies by Brendan here. This video is actually for anyone who has attended my workshops, um, particularly my five steps to resetting your digestion. Or if you're watching or maybe seeing this on YouTube or you've received it from my email newsletter, or if you're listening to it at home or on the treadmill or in your car, then you've purchased my audio program to resetting your digestion. This is new content. This is new material that I needed to include because my previous lectures, I kind of missed a little bit of the information and I actually gave some of the wrong information. So I'm correcting it right now. And, and again, I do apologize, but I'm, I'm fixing it. For the listeners at home, I am pointing out a diagram of the intestine focusing on the cells, the, the lining of the intestine. And for the viewers, Again, this is a diagram of the intestine with a magnified look at each individual cell that lines the intestine. When you consume gluten, so bagels, spaghetti, pasta, breads, lots of foods actually contain glutens, condiments and whatnot. So when you consume gluten, um, it enters obviously from our mouth into the digestive process, the stomach and all that, and then it enters our intestine. The intestine is lined with these villi. They're almost like finger-like protrusions. And on top of the villi, if you magnify it, then there are little microvilli. They are coated with enterocytes, kind of like bacteria. Their job is to absorb the proteins, the foods that we've consumed, and the, obviously absorb them and then disperse them into the body for utilization. If you magnify these villi and microvilli, then we're, that's what we're looking at here. And these are individual cells, epithelial cells, and they line the intestine. And obviously you can flip that up Then there's other of these cells on the other side. What happens is when you consume gluten, there's a protein in it called gliadin. And that is actually what humans are not able to break down and digest and utilize. It's proven. There's a lot of clinical research. Uh, Dr. Tom uh, O'Brien speaks about it. So when you consume gluten, again, it has a protein called gliadin and it's undigested. We can't digest this protein. And so it enters, this, it enters the intestine, it enters the GI. And when it touches these epithelial cells, there's receptor sites on these cells that actually recognize, well, they don't really recognize this gliadin and they signal to the junctions to actually open up. What causes the, the opening of these cell linings is there's actually a protein within us called zonulin. And zonulin, again, is responsible for the opening, the widening of the cell lining. And why does that happen? Because the body doesn't recognize gliadin and it, it think of it as a foreigner, so like a parasite or a virus or a chemical, it, we don't, we're not meant to have it. So what happens is this gliadin signals on the receptor site and it, and it signals to the zonulin to open up. And what happens is these gluten molecules enter into our systemic blood via the intestinal permeability of the gut caused by the opening of the cells because the zonulin allows it to happen. And why does that happen? It's like our body's last line of defense. And what's happening is, the zonulin opens up and it says, okay, we're going to allow this gluten, we're going to allow this gliadin to enter into our blood for our immune response to attack and kill the foreign invader. So that is the information that I wanted to correct myself. Previously, I had mentioned that zonulin was in gluten and that's what we couldn't digest. And I apologize. I was wrong as uh, you know, I'm still learning as I'm teaching. So I do apologize. But since I figured that out again, it's gliadin that's in the protein, that gliadin is the protein that is undigestible from within gluten. Okay. And then gliadin is what signals zonulin to open up the intestinal lining. And we don't want that. And that's it. So that's the information. So I just needed to correct myself and point that out to you. Thank you.